If you want to create a dynamic scatter plot in which the x and y variables can be changed by the user, we'll first need to create two parameters called x-axis and y-axis. The data I'll use today is from Makeover Monday. Uh, I'll have a link in the video description, but it's about the B colony loss. So let's go ahead and start creating our first parameter. The first parameter we will call the x-axis and we'll go ahead and make that a string and select the list as allowable values. In order for this example, let's pretend we want to see beekeeper, beekeepers as one of the values. Uh, we'll have exclusive beekeepers, beekeepers, because there is something that exclusive to state, I think. And then we'll have colonies, okay? So we'll have these three values. And we're gonna say, okay. And now let's create another parameter and we'll call this the y-axis. Again, we'll go ahead and make it a string. We'll make it a list and we'll add some other values like colon, exclusive colonies, exclusive colonies, and total, Okay, and we're going to say okay. Now, in order to use the parameters, we'll need to obviously show parameter control. So let's go ahead and bring out the X and the Y. Uh, but in order to use it, we'll have to create some calculated fields. So let's create a calculated field and we'll call it select X axis. And the way we're going to write this is we're going to use the case statement. So the case of the x-axis parameter, we're going to say when, when beekeepers, keepers, then we want it to give us the beekeepers value. Okay. And then similarly, when exclusive beekeepers, then beekeepers exclusive to state. And then the last one we had was colonies and colonies. And then we have to end it with our magic end. All right. So we have to select X axis. Now we need to create a new calculated field and call this the select Y axis. Because we'll need that for the Y. Same thing. We're going to write a case statement, except this time for the Y axis parameter. And we're going to say when exclusive colonies so it is important to get the cases and spelling correct here or it will not work colonies exclusive and then the last one we had was when total annual loss then total annual loss and we're going to go ahead and end Okay, so the next step is to actually start creating the scatter plot. But instead of bringing in some, some measures, we're actually going to place the y-axis, select y-axis on rows. And we're going to bring the select x-axis on columns. This will right away give us a scatter plot. And I'm gonna just expand this to entire view. And we can also go to analysis and uncheck this aggregate measures, which will show us all of the measures. So now we have select axis, Y, X, and Y, and we have a little parameter controls here. So we can actually change colonies, total annual loss. We can see beekeepers, exclusive beekeepers. So you can really play around with it really quickly. And it basically gives the user the power to play with the with the data without really having to learn Tableau.